Mr. Investor, welcome back to the channel, baby. Oh my goodness, what is going on today? I'm gonna tell you what's going on. Bingo Cowboys. When Bingo was dropping, they were cursing the stock. They were saying this is a trash stock, this and that, a trash company. Well, we're up 12% in pre market value and it's on some crazy innovative news. Bio Nano Genomics, our beloved, has released great news yet again, and this news has sent the stock soaring. I think, alongside the general market sentiment as well, a lot of growth stocks and penny stocks are getting pushed up now including nano dimension up 4.2 percent in pre-market but also i want to check with regards to other genomic companies how are they doing today in pre-market pacific biosciences barely moves up 0.2 percent nvte actually down in pre-market value 0.01 percent barely anything but bingo is currently racing so will we see another green day perhaps short-term price action does not interest me this is great news i'm happy that it's going up i'm happy we're having a green day but i'm all about the long term and i've seen the potential of this company i know what it can become in the future when people say you know you put out these ridiculous thumbnails of bingo being 100 dollars i just smile because i think i've done my due diligence and i believe that this stock is going to be amazing one day so let's take a little read into this article that just came up this press release article has actually sent the stock soaring and a lot of people are bullish on it because of what it actually means let's also talk about institutional ownership remember we were down at 68 we've now got 71 institutional owners some institutions joined again also if you're new around here i'd just like to say welcome to the channel my name is miguel we look for big juicy growth stocks if you want to support my channel just click the join button above my head it's only 99 cents a month or if you're able to support more please join my patreon it means the world to me but if you're unable to just you hitting like and clicking subscribe is enough for me thank you so much for being part of the family so bio nano genomics released this tweet it's a publication on a novel sapphire based method to analyze dna replication in human genomes and it could enable a new level of cancer research and drug discovery which exemplifies the importance importance of optical genome mapping in a large research market. So clickety click, if we go into the article, we can see here the study was led by Dr. Nicholas Ryan from University of Massachusetts Medical School and an international team of scientists from France, Canada and the USA. So what was Sapphire able to achieve? Sapphire based method was capable of determining the timing, speed and origin of DNA replication in human cells at a coverage that is thousands of times higher than what earlier methods such as nanopore sequencing allowed. The breakthrough quality quality and quantity of a single molecule data generated by Sapphire in this study illustrates the importance of novel technologies such as optical genome mapping in driving a wave of big biology and innovation in genomics. So they broke down and they spoke a little bit about um, DNA replication. So basically they spoke about the bodies of humans and other organisms and how we develop and grow when cells divide. And for every division that takes place, the entire genome needs to be replicated. However, any mistakes that happen in DNA replication can lead to your genome being unstable and mutations that can happen that will drive cancer. As you guys may know, with cancer cells, they divide super fast and excessively. And lots of the chemotherapy drugs that we have at the moment actually disrupt DNA replication. So by by forming a better understanding of the mechanism, we can develop these new kind of uh, chemotherapeutic drugs, new cancer drugs with reduced side effects. So what's crazy is all the existing technologies, the traditional methods that they have, they don't allow for an investigation of human cells. The closest they got was actually nanopore sequencing, which has been limited to yeast cells. It does not allow genome-wide analysis of human cells, but Sapphire does. And this is a pretty cool fact here. The largest replication study they had to date was no more than the equivalent of a single fiber however with optical replication mapping in this study sapphire was able to collect more than 2500 fibers now the authors of the article have stated that sapphire's based method can become a central technique for studying dna replication dna repair and genome instability research money baby so eric homlin was talking about innovation and saying what they're driving towards at BioNano, and they said they're focused on driving what they believe to be the next wave of big biology and innovation in genomics by unlocking access to genome structure structural variation and functional information derived from high volume single molecule analysis. And he said with everything that's currently on the market or the technology, none of them can handle genomic structure, location and organization very well. This limitation leaves a gap in the basic understanding of the genome function and the search for new medicines and diagnostic tests, while other areas of genome analysis are being transformed by new technology. So from what I can understand of this article, I can see that this guy is basically saying the innovation that Sapphire system and optical replication 
location mapping is opening up the research market to actually study into things that can't be studied before and in doing so they can now develop drugs that can target these mechanisms you can develop these new drugs and have reduced side effects so this could potentially change the game forever for cancer drugs and many other drugs and i want to show you as well how much pharmaceutical companies are currently spending so this is the total global spending on pharmaceutical research and development from 2012 to 2026 you can see here that in 2012 it was around about 136 billion dollars and they expect by 2026 it will be 233 billion dollars on research so some of this money is actually to try and find new drugs and to make sure the drugs have less side effects and are actually fit for purpose they're good so these are some of the side effects of cancer treatment anemia appetite loss bleeding and bruising constipation delirium diarrhea edema fatigue we've also seen a lot of people maybe some of you guys have had um, people die in your family from cancer it's happened in my family but you see them go through um, lots of pain as well as seeing them lose weight you see them lose also hair skin and nails if you actually open the full list of side effects for cancer treatment the list just goes on and on and on including fertility issues there's so much here that happens so if we can understand cancer activation better and we can also understand the replication methods we stand a chance at actually improving all of the drugs on the market and take a look at this from february 18th they were looking at identification of somatic structural variants in solid tumors by optical genome mapping so they were looking at oncology activation and we can see here where they said for instance recurrent translocations such as the philadelphia chromosome can activate oncogenes at the same time reveal avenues for implementing and developing effective targeted drug therapies so not only are we looking at genomic structural variants and looking at you know the significant fraction of somatic mutations that drive cancer but now we can actually explore the timing speed and origin look at you know dna replication and how cells divide and replicate so one of the things i was thinking of is once bio nanogenomics gets to the market you know the sapphires are in place they're going to be able to start discovering and looking at things that they've never researched before and remember when they start to look and explore into cancer leukemia at king's college london i just want to show you what else they've been studying and looking at they carried out a genetic global study you can see here by researchers at king's and they found metabolic origins of anorexia so they're exploring eating disorders they're exploring mental health as well they also found 44 genetic risks for depression and they've been exploring bipolar and schizophrenia disorders and looking at epigenetic differences in a large number of psychosis discordant twin pairs so we've got cancer we've got rare disease next i wonder if they will explore mental health using sapphire trying to look for you know genetic predispositions to mental health disorders using the sapphire system also guys take a look at this we're still up nearly 10 percent today we actually nearly reached seven dollars we hit six dollars eighty over the long term i want you to tell me what you think this company will become is there any research and studies out there that you've looked at and you think wow bio nanogenomics can explore this particular industry or field and with our current all-time high at $15.69 where do you think this company is going to be in five years time with all of this said i just wanted to remind you that none of this is financial advice it's for entertainment only i wish you the best each and every day thank you so much for supporting me and if you're able to join channel memberships it will really help me out but if you're unable to just you hitting the like and clicking subscribe means the world to me thank you so much for being a part of this family and i wish you the best mr Invest a lot over and out, baby.